Welcome back to another video guys and Vulcan API it's finally here Alright, so as you can see on my screen, I am recording my computer using a camera uh, and why I am not using some uh, some screen recording software that we'll know in a moment. Now I have uh, an NVIDIA GTX 960 as you can see here. Uh, also, I have installed the latest 355 uh, NVIDIA driver which is the first one to come with Vulkan support so uh, how do you install that it's really simple you just go to uh, type drivers here and go to additional drivers and it will give you this dialog box and you can select 355 now up to a couple of days ago you couldn't do that uh, and only in, uh, in download the driver from the NVIDIA's official uh, website and that was a little bit difficult to do but it was possible I will uh, link uh, stuff down below so you guys can check that out uh, so this is using NVIDIA binary driver 355.00.26 so just uh, to let you guys know that Vulkan is actually working I'll just go Vulkan info and as you can see it executes normally uh, up top we might able to see Vulkan API version 1.0.3 uh, and then the various extensions it supports alright so what does this mean for the OpenGL lineup and other graphical APIs and that's what we are testing today OpenGL versus Vulkan what is the main difference now let's uh, the main difference is not much about your everyday uh, graphic card usage it's more concentrated on the CPU performance now Vulkan is said to have a lower overhead which means that when your game is active and when your uh, APIs and driver is running it won't use as much of CPU and it will use it very efficiently so to demonstrate that Let's uh, run a OpenGL demo first to see what OpenGL does with the CPU. So just uh, I'll be running GL Mark II, and as you can notice, one thread goes up uh, in the uh, CPU usage. So for now, it's CPU number two. So uh, my second core, and by the way, I'm running an Intel i3 2120. Uh, so one thread, uh, one core going at a hundred percent on all other cores, staying pretty much below twenty. So as you can see, GL is using only uh, only only single core. Now a lot of developers actually do this to uh, for compatibility reasons, but we'll talk about it later, and we'll also talk about how Vulkan supports that. So. As you can see, uh, the operating system is actually switching cores, but that's just the OS. It's still a single code application. Now let's see the difference. And this is a, uh, a sample by Lunar G. So it's called Hologram. And there we go. So as you can see, all the four cores run in synchronization at once at around 20 to 25 uh, 25 to 30 percent and as you, as you can see it's really utilizing the CPU properly uh, no none of the CPU individual cores are going up to a hundred percent and coming back down and the pattern changing is just one single pattern all the cores work together in a proper manner now what does this mean for the developers See the developers. Let's imagine uh, fifty percent of your uh, and you are the developer, and fifty percent of your consumers have dual core CPUs, and only uh, uh, around forty percent have quad core, and uh, another let's say 
and another 10% have 8 cores. Now you want maximum of uh, your consumers to be happy and your game to run properly. So you will optimize your game with uh, 2 cores in mind uh, and not quad core and not uh, octa core. So what it also means that the uh, people who have quad core or octa core CPUs their CPUs are underperforming their CPUs are not being utilized very well so Vulkan aims to solve that it says hey let me take the task of scaling according to number of cores on the CPU and you guys just concentrate on making the application so this is a big relief for developers uh, So and this also means that uh, maximum number of uh, games would be better optimized and better supported by uh, the Vulkan driver so even if I have core, a dual core CPU it will use two cores very efficiently if I have octa core and let's say a 16 core Xeon it will use all of them efficiently and in a very prop, uh, in a very nice manner scaling very well so this is what Vulkan aims to do so here is the live demonstration and GL took around 100% and this is what we were aiming to achieve with Vulkan. Now that thread is like there's some background process going on, it's not Vulkan. That's not that. uh, one more interesting thing I would like to test out is what if I run uh, a GL test with the Vulkan test already running. Let's go to GL Mark 2. and it kind of disturbs everything now as you can see and uh, as uh, it's pretty clearly uh, visible one thread is actually doing the GPU task so that's uh, one, the one above there now Vulkan sets back and utilizes the three remaining threads uh, now I'm saying thread because my CPU is a dual core CPU with uh, for caught uh, hyper threading so that makes it four threads or four uh, so this is what I was aiming to achieve one thread just going out there and processing your OpenGL stuff and these are the threads that are running with your Vulkan yes so how soon can you expect Vulkan to be here not very soon the drivers in beta uh, pretty much every other development SDK is in beta yet so this means maybe a couple of years uh, now it's not really well op uh, well developed right now there are lots of bugs and uh, I've almost tried, tested around tried to run around uh, hmm, 10 to 15 uh, examples and not even the official NVIDIA ex example would work properly uh, at all actually so this is it this is what Vulkan is right now uh, better CPU performance a much better CPU utilization uh, and that is about it now just in case you were wondering how much the GPU usage was it, it's around 92 uh, it's, it's, it's skipping a lot uh, okay so the GL test actually ended so I'll just right there we go so the GPU utilization is actually at 93% uh, another thing I would like to show you guys is before we go this is the GL test running so as you can see the frames are very very high but for some reason maybe it's in the code maybe it's default for Vulkan the Vulkan test is actually uh, doing some vsync kind of stuff here now if I close uh, the GL test let me just do that and Vulkan test is still running we can see the GPU utilization is only around 7 to 10 percent which is not a lot and that is because it's limiting the FPS to 60 which also happens to be my monitor's refresh rate so it's doing some vsync kind of stuff in the background as well uh, don't really know whether it's in the code or whether it's default for Vulkan but that's it uh, 
that's about it for Vulcan today uh, we might be doing some more experiments so see you guys uh, next time and thanks for watching